I had recently moved out to Mexico City. I was working on the True Map Pie video for Max. One day he calls me up and tells me this idea he has uh, for this track called Perpetual Motion. The idea was to show people in constant motion while searching for meaning. And he asked me if I could do some filming in Mexico City and I was like, yes, definitely, what a great idea. The subject matter is perfect, it's so busy and crammed in, let's do it. I had the idea of using drones to capture this movement and create this flat, more graphic canvas. And within that, to intersperse content from Andy Lomas and Jessica In. And for me, the biggest challenge was I'd never used drones before, so I needed some help. My friend Manuel, who is an amazing photographer, he just recently acquired a drone with a view to doing some video and photo commissions. I think it was like a couple of weeks since he got this quite expensive piece of equipment and, and I was like, um, hey, you want to come practice with this thing, right? Uh, well, why don't you come meet me out in the middle of a highway and bring your drone? And uh, luckily he said yes. I used Google Earth to find the locations and I would send them to Manuel and he would say um, no, we can't really go there, it's a little bit dangerous or yeah, okay, that was next prison, maybe we shouldn't go there. So it was really helpful because I was pretty new to the city so that local knowledge was invaluable to me. super strict drone laws in Mexico um, right now and when you use a smaller aircraft it's fairly easy to get to places and to use it. It looks so much like a toy that no one really kind of pays attention. Even so we had to be careful in crowded areas. What interested me was there was so much geometric symmetry to be found in the city, which might not be immediately obvious until you get up high and then point the camera directly down. Once you look down, you see how green it is, and though it seems peaceful up there, you can see exactly how the chaos is unfolding below. Sometimes those moments that you end up capturing something really special, you know? So with me and Manuel messing about on highways, I wanted to bring in a couple more other people who work with drones and I was super lucky to connect with two other amazing photographers, Santiago Arul and Roberto H. Roberto's work I had seen on his Instagram and I was just blown away. A mí hay una hay una cosa que me encanta de México y creo que es lo que la hace diferente a muchas otras partes del mundo que he fotografiado y es el caos el caos para mí en mi fotografía es algo súper importante prefiero encontrar un lugar totalmente fuera de orden masivo con un montón de gente a lugares estéticamente perfectos No vas a ver fotos perfectas con campos verdes este, alucinantes. No, aquí vas a ver una plaza llena con 45 mil personas, una alberca con eh, 100, 200 personas en el mismo espacio, todos codo a codo nadando en el mismo lugar. Vas a encontrar eh, mercados sobre ruedas, vas a encontrar eh, eventos masivos. ¿no? Todo esto que México lo hace un lugar especial, para mí es, es algo no puedo cambiar, que no, vamos, que no cambiaría por otro país. Yo no soy eh, una persona que esté a favor de, lo, de, de la corrida de todos, pero esta foto para mí ha marcado un antes y un después de lo que yo busco desde los aires, ¿no? Esta fotografía en donde 
más de 45 mil personas reunidas viendo una corrida de toros era algo alucinante, esto fue de día. Y mi segunda, curiosamente es en el mismo lugar, pero para un juego de tenis, en donde el mismo número de personas o más se reunieron en la noche, esas para mí son mis dos fotos favoritas. I wanted there to be a moment in the video where it got very, very intense and the build up of people and cars and it kind of overloads the viewers. And then as the track calms down and towards the end, I wanted it to reflect that in the visual as well. For this, I went to film in one of the only places where it's relatively calm in Mexico City, Chapultepec, which is the largest park in Latin America. It's dusty and dry in the winter months and it has these huge water tanks. But we filmed during the summer, which is rainy season, so the area had just bloomed into life. With a lot of the shots, we would have certain areas in mind but then we would have to search for that sweet spot to film as fast as possible. We had such a limited battery life that it added a lot of pressure to the filming. And when the drone runs out of battery, it returns home by itself. But we actually got quite a lot of cool footage that way. be really special for people in Mexico to see the film as it was intended live. That's something I'd love to see.